What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I kind of wanted to go over how to craft and get your character super strong for the early acts in PoE2, Path of Exile, PoE2, Path of Exile 2 campaign so you can be super overpowered which will make your experience just a little bit easier for when you're going through this. Now, Path of Exile 2 is a little bit different than Path of Exile 1 and... You know, th this is very gear dependent. I mean, PoE 1 is very gear dependent as well, but like you can kind of get around that with some other things. But in Path of Exile 2, gear is very important, especially with the combination of skills that you're going to have to run um, to make your, you know, your damage seem very good, very efficient and very smooth when you're playing through. Right. So I'm going to go through and give you guys a little bit of a crafting guide and just kind of give you some tips and tricks of what I've done through uh the act three i'm almost done with act three i'm about to finish act three and then get ready to go on to the cruel version um and get and get closer and closer to that end game so um i have some staffs here i'm playing sorceress so i'm having some staffs here and i want to talk about how um the staff that i kind of crafted here which is very very strong um it has the basic lightning bolt which is great increased spell damage maximum mana plus two to level of all lightning spell skills and then increased mana regeneration rate um the big things here are spell damage in the main main um basically uh attribute that you want to have here or prefix suffix is plus two to level of all lightning spells in path of exile 2 levels to your skills gives a humongous i mean a humongous damage increase so i know it can be very hard to get these mod modifiers um it is very tough but what i am going to do is go through and show you guys how to kind of craft and craft early on because this game what i've noticed through the playthrough is crafting early on and often is very important to kind of get your gear going um and then you can you know get lucky and find something like this which gives me eldritch battery for free so um let's go ahead and break this down uh and talk about crafting really quickly so when it comes to crafting you're basically upgrading current gear that you guys already have so i know there's a lot of veterans that maybe see my videos or not or poe vets so they already know a lot of this and just kind of seeing out the new mechanics but for people who don't really know or need help i'm going to go through and break down how to do this so we have a basic staff here which is normal staff because it's yellow um i have an extra one and then i have this gilded staff which i haven't even identified which is magic so the first thing first is let's go ahead and identify this when you use a scroll of wisdom to identify an item. You can also come over here to uh, the hooded one. The hooded one uh, will also identify any items that you guys have. Super strong. He identifies absolutely everything. Now, um, I also have a, a, rare, a rare one here that I was crafting up. So you have the different stages here. In each one, you can apply different modifiers to or increase. So as an example... This staff here, we're going to go put in this little thing. It's always easier. And then you have your different currency. You have your orbs of transmutation, which is going to upgrade a normal item to a magic item with one modifier. So this is a normal item. It has no modifiers. The implicit is the lightning bolt. So if we right click on this, it's going to make it magic and give us one modifier. And look at that. We got spell damage. This is a very, very good start. Now, before I continue, I do want to say that while crafting, unlike PoE 1, um, we can reset these items back to the base, so back to gray. I have not found an item that allows me to do that yet, so whatever you craft is what you get, and you're kind of stuck with it. So just know that going in. Um, but Orbs of Transmutation upgrade a gray item or a normal item to magic with one modifier. We got lucky with spell damage, which is, which is great. The next one is the Orb of Augmentation. Okay, this is going to augment a magic item with a new random modifier. So what this is going to do is each magic item can have two total modifiers, which is what you see here. This is two total modifiers. This one has a prefix of increased spell damage plus mana, which is one roll, and then increase to intelligence. So pretty good. It's not bad. So this one is grayed out, or now it's magic, and we only have one, so we're going to right-click on the augmentation, and we're going to add it on here, and look at that. We just got plus two level to all spell skills. So we just crafted an absolute insane 
staff. Now, I know that this doesn't sp specify like lightning or fire or uh, ice skills, but to all spell skills, this will work for everything. So now you can use this staff for whatever kind of, you know, skills that you're using. It can be fire, it can be lightning, it can be frost skills. So absolutely crazy that we just got that roll and we did it live for the video. It's so good. Um, all right. So the next step is, is getting to uh, rare, which is yellow. Okay, so yellow can have a maximum of six modifiers. My current stuff that I am using only has four um, right now, so I can have two more on here. Now, the, the way to upgrade this staff to a rare is these regal orbs. It upgrades a magic item, which is blue, to a rare item, which is yellow, adding one modifier. So if we right-click on this and then we add this on here, bang, now it's rare, plus we got plus 11 to intelligence, which is fine. It's not a bad modifier to have. I really would have liked to get um, increased uh, if I go to my stash here. I have another staff. Gain 15% of damage as extra whatever. It can be extra cold, extra fire, extra lightning. Those three, that's just flat damage increase, which is incredibly strong. So it just adds even more damage. However, um, in here, like this, having plus intelligence is fine. So if we hold alt, you can see that we have one prefix and two suffixes now. So as a yellow item or rare item, you can max this out with three prefixes and three suffixes. So now in order to add more suffixes, I don't have it, but it's this icon here, which is called exalt gems or exalt orbs. And it's it's a term known as saying exalt slam. So basically with an exalt orb, it's just going to add a random modifier um, to your rare item that you don't have so basically it'll give me a random prefix or a random suffix and because i have two suffixes and one prefix i could add four exalt orbs to this which will give me four random modifiers so right now this staff is primed to get you know whenever i get some more exalted orbs will be primed to be upgraded same thing here you know i have the two lightning spells um this has increased spell damage and mana regeneration rate mana cast speed and then that increased damage would be good so i'm probably just going to exalt slam this one but this staff is huge we might have to gift this staff to the community somehow uh since we just rolled it it's absolutely incredible um but yeah so we can do this with each staff so let's see about making another one so again we just orbs of transmutation it gave us this is one modifier increased spell damage and maximum mana and then we'll add another one, which is freeze buildup, which is actually kind of nice. Now, I'm out of regal orb, so I can't make it magic, but that is a good start to a staff. Same thing here. This one already has two, which is pretty good. It's not bad. And then this rare item that we have has plus two level to all cold spells, the freeze buildup, and maximum mana. It's okay. We really want spell damage on here really bad. Um, that's really huge. So, But we got some really nice staffs here that we might go ahead and give to the community. But this one that we just rolled is incredible. So um, having plus two is just so important. Now, this, this crafting, guys, this is very basic crafting. This also applies to any other gear pieces that you have. So, for example, this um, the chest piece, again, um, I have a pretty solid chest piece. It's okay. But really, on my chest piece, I'm just looking for resistances. So again, we can make this magic. The thorns damage, immediately, this is just out. I wouldn't even waste another orb here um, because this, this chest piece is just bad. Um, so we can come in here and grab a new base. So my base of evasion and energy shield is really what I want. So cold res is pretty good. It's a little bit less than this cold res, but... The increased evasion and energy shield, this is a pretty good start to a chest piece. Um, with the cold res, and maybe we can get, if we get another, uh, if we can, when we regal orb this, if we get another resistance on here, then I'll probably keep it because 35% increased evasion. We already have 29 here and we have more energy shield. And then we can get another res. Then I would swap this out immediately. So this is probably a really good chess piece. Once I get another regal orb, but yeah, guys, you could do this on all of your gear pieces and just go through and what you're doing. I highly suggest that you guys just. Craft, craft, craft. A big reason why GGG made a lot of this, these materials, not chaos orbs, but um, these orbs here, the augmentation, and mainly the regal orbs and the exalt orbs, much more common as drops, is because that way you can craft your gear along the way. So as opposed to playing before, when I'm running through like a dungeon, let me go back into the Venom Crypts here. When I'm running through a dungeon in like PoE 1, you know, like 
normally like this helmet on the ground, I know it's not a helmet that I would use, but let's say it's a helmet that I would use for my character. Because it's blue at this stage, three, four, five acts in, you know, I would never want to pick this up because it's like, well, I could just wait for a, a rare drop. But because the items in PoE, at least in the campaign, in you know, up to Act Three so far, you know, they're really only dropping like, ma you know, magic items, blue, and then gray items, so your normal items. It makes it to where crafting is very important, and you can be, you know, get some really good gear. Now I'm gonna go back to town real quick because I want to show you one last tip. That's very, very important, and I overlooked it until I got, like, halfway through through Act 2. And that is using your vendors. Okay, so Servi is, is one of the guys here buying or selling items. Now, for people who don't know, traditionally in other ARPGs, the vendors are kind of, like, useless in some cases because, you know, they never really have a lot of good items. But in Path of Exile 2, each time you level up the... Vendor also quote unquote levels up and gets new gear according to your level. So each time you level up, you're going to get strong gear for your level. So I would advise you to always come over to the vendor and check to see what they have. You guys rack up a bunch of gold. I got 18,000 here and I would definitely suggest getting like checking the vendor. This is very important. I had to move my camera. So like when I come look here on staffs, like this staff is not good. It's not great. Same thing here. Only spell damage. It's not bad, but the per enemy killed is not really what I want. Nope. Increased crit chance for spells. Not bad. Right? Like, it's okay. But so, none of these staffs are here. Now, you can find a staff like mine and magic and get plus two. You can just find it, which is great. Um, another strong piece of advice that you guys can do if you really want to is to come over to whoever it is in your town. Like, this is Al uh, Alva. And this is your gambler, so you can just go ahead and spend some gold and get a random staff, which can, again, get these modifiers. I would definitely pay more attention to the normal vendor instead of gambling, at least at first, because gold in Act 1 and partially through the first few parts of Act 2, you know, it takes a little bit to rack up some gold, and these items increase in gold cost as you guys level up. So, but this can work, you know what I mean? So, like, for example, I'll random staff just to show you. So we got a level 10 living bomb. We got extra damage as cold and increased chance to ignite. So this staff random for 3000 is just like, meh, it's okay. It is completely random. Now you do have a chance to get an actual rare item when you, when you gamble, but still, I think like paying attention to here where like this one is 2,400, for example, or where's the better one. So this one right here, this one for the same cost, I know guarantees giving me mana, uh, and increased spell damage and mana per enemy killed, which is pretty good. And then maybe I can regal orb this and get the plus two on there. So gambling can be good. It can pay. It's like one of those things where it pays off when it works and then it's bad when it doesn't like it is right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sell this thing, buy or sell items and just get some money back. But yeah, it's very, very important to check the vendor. So yeah, guys, I wanted to make this like little crafting guide and just show you because like this, 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 staff that we just made is just absolutely insane right off the bat i can't believe we crafted this this is a prime staff like right now it's so good um i wish the spell damage was a little bit more we did get tier one we just got a low tier one so we got the bottom end of a tier one which you know it is what it is but that's okay but yeah guys i want to make this crafting guide like the video comment down below let me know if you guys have any questions about this stuff this is a very beginner's base level uh because i know a lot of people especially in my community and in the comments and stuff people are like struggling to kill certain bosses or kind of get through acts one and into act two so hopefully this will help you guys out so comment down below let me know if you guys have questions and stuff i'll be sure to answer them don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace